This is Rob Hamilton from Soul Canyon Training and Development here with another Power XL tip. The thing I'd like you to show you today is how to take some imported data and actually uh, clean it up very, very quickly if you just have some key XL skills. Now, what you see here is I have this database, this HR database, all laid out with the header uh, row all set up here. But when I brought the data in, it was actually brought in as what's known as a CSV file uh, from an external database. Um, the good news is we got the data out of the database, so we can start working with it with Excel. Uh, the bad news is that initially here, everything is in column A with the individual field values separated by a comma. So the first thing we're going to do to clean this up so we can start using it as an Excel spreadsheet is we're going to highlight all of the information here. And then we are going to go up to the Data Ribbon tab, click into the Data Toolbox, and click this button called Text to Columns. When we do that, we will tell Excel that we have delimited data, go to the next dialog box, uncheck the tab box, and since our field values are separated by commas, we're going to check the comma box right here and get a preview of our data and then click Finished. Now that's beautiful. Um, we've got everything now at least lined up by columns, but you can see these higher dates are kind of strange. We have no formatting for our social security numbers, no formatting for our annual salary, and our names are kind of messed up. So the first thing we're going to do is just go highlight all the columns up here and double click on the border of one of them to get the right column sizes. Uh, we're then going to highlight all of these higher dates. And the issue with the higher dates is we're actually seeing not the dates themselves, but the date values. So what we're going to do there is we're going to go right click on those highlighted dates, select Format Cells, and then go down here to the Date category and pick a date category we like. I'll just pick a Month, Day, Year category and convert those to dates. So that's all fixed. That's nice. Social Security Numbers. Here's how we're going to fix those. We're going to highlight all of those and then right click in there. Also go to Format Cells. And down here in this category called Special, we actually see we have a social security number format. When we do that, all the dashes are nice in the right places. These numbers over here, we're going to highlight all of those real quick, right click on those, and just use this format options box up here, turn those into dollars, and then click the decrease decimal button uh, twice. Last thing we're going to do is a little review of another tip that I put out. We're going to fix these names using the proper function. So I'm going to insert a couple of columns, come over here on this line and use the proper function and then reference the first name right here so Elizabeth is fixed pull the autofill handle over so the last name is fixed double click on the autofill handle and so now all these names are fixed using the proper function we're then going to copy and over here we're going to paste with control alt v just the values from those proper functions that now gives us the capitalized first and last name we can delete the working columns, and voila, our database is fixed. From the time that we imported the CSV file to the time that we actually now have a database that we can use in Excel using a number of skills, text to columns, using a couple of format conventions, and also using the proper function, that took us uh, two or three minutes. And that's another Power Excel tip from Rob Hamilton here at Soul Canyon Training and Development.